This is the Diamond DA-40NG, an ultra-safe diesel-powered aircraft that just might be what the general aviation market is clamoring for. The D-40 series began its journey with the original DA-40 Diamond Star, which was first introduced in 1997. Built by Diamond Aircraft, the company aimed to create an aircraft that featured modern design and materials, emphasizing safety, performance, and comfort. The original DA-40 was powered by a Lycoming gasoline engine and made significant use of composite materials, which was somewhat revolutionary at the time. As environmental considerations and fuel efficiency became more significant factors in aircraft design, Diamond Aircraft saw an opportunity to innovate further, and the DA-40NG was introduced in 2010, marking a significant step forward in the series. The NG model replaced the traditional Lycoming gasoline engine with a more fuel-efficient diesel engine, which not only offered better fuel economy, but also allowed the aircraft to utilize Jet A fuel, which is cheaper and more widely available globally than Avgas. The switch to a diesel engine also brought about improvements in range and endurance, enhancing the aircraft's appeal for cross-country flights. The AE300 engine features a dual-channel FedEx system, which simplifies engine management and increases safety by optimizing engine performance and reducing pilot workload. Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Diamond DA-40NG. Stepping inside, entry is the same as any DA-40, which means you approach the aircraft from the front and step up onto the wing before standing in the cockpit and finally sitting down. The canopy swings forward to facilitate all this, making it simple to get in and out even when wearing bulky winter clothes. The aircraft offers a width of 49 inches, or 1.24 meters, providing a comfortable space that is quite generous for a single-engine aircraft, while the cabin's height stands at 50 inches, or 1.27 meters, providing decent headroom. The seats are firm, but comfortable even on very long flying days. The automotive-style seat belts will be a welcome feature for anyone who is familiar with the need to hunt on the floor for one end of the belt, as is normal in many older airplanes. When equipped with the optional AMSOF airbag seat belts, an additional layer of safety is provided. They are adjustable and you can recline them through infinite adjustments all the way to nearly flat, a feature that is not universally available in all aircraft of this class. In a pinch, the DA-40NG would be a cozy place to spend the night on a ramp waiting out bad weather. Inside the cabin, comfort level is very good. Ventilation and heating systems are excellent, featuring a robust climate control system that is capable of adjusting the cabin environment to suit various weather conditions, and lighting within the cabin is another highlight, with LED lights providing bright, efficient illumination. Noise levels are impressively low, thanks to Diamond's use of sound-dampening materials and the aircraft's design that minimizes noise from the engine and airflow. And finally, storage space is adequate for the aircraft's size and mission profile. The DA-40NG includes spaces for personal items and flight gear, which are easily accessible to both the pilot and passengers. Now, let's step into the cockpit. The large canopy with the wing positioned slightly after the pilot provides excellent visibility. But the downside is that the large greenhouse makes for a hot cabin environment on warm days. Electric air conditioning keeps things cool and comfortable for taxi and lets the pilot select the perfect temperature and cruise. Once seated, the pilot is greeted with a logical, uncluttered cockpit, complete with the latest NX Away version of Garmin's venerable G1000 avionics system. The displays are sharper and load faster than previous versions. For those unfamiliar, the G1000 integrates flight instruments, engine monitoring, navigation, and abnormal slash emergency enunciators. Despite the large amount of information that can be displayed, it is done in a logical and effective manner that does not overwhelm or confuse the pilot. The DA-40NG flies pretty much like every other diamond. As all airplanes should, the NG has a proper center stick perfectly positioned for fingertip control. On the downside, because of the stick and the over-the-front wing ingress, the DA-40NG is not as easy to mount as a Cirrus or even a Cessna. And once in, it's a little snugger, but the seats are comfortable and there's an option for electrically adjustable rudder pedal position. Operation of the diesel engine is where most pilots who are accustomed to traditional aircraft piston engines will get the sense that something is different and new with this aircraft. There are no magnetos to check, no propeller to cycle, 
and no mixture control to adjust. Starting the engine is simple, but very different from starting a legacy piston engine. The pilot basically engages the battery with the ignition key, follows the prompts on the enunciator panel, indicating that the glow plugs are ready, and then engages the starter. The whole experience is like starting an automobile. With little effort, the power plant comes to life and provides smooth and relatively quiet power. This engine utilizes a FedEx system to monitor and control engine and propeller functions. In this system, a computer known as an ECU or engine control unit is the brains of the system, taking over many of the functions traditionally delegated to the pilot. The ECU is so important that the AEE 300 has two of them. The pre-flight engine check involves pressing the ECU test button to ensure that all ECU functions are working on both units prior to takeoff. If one unit fails, the other unit will automatically pick up the slack and the system will provide the pilot with an enunciator warning. It almost feels like cheating. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Diamond DA40NG is powered by an Austro engine AE300, a 168 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine renowned for its fuel efficiency and durability. This common rail injected engine is designed for smaller aircraft like the DA40, and the relatively low horsepower output is a bit surprising considering how well this plane performs. The TBO is 1,800 hours, which can be extended up to 2,100 hours with adherence to prescribed maintenance schedules and operational conditions. The aircraft requires 1,935 feet or 590 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day, with a useful load of 900 pounds or 408 kilograms. The engine allows a maximum rate of climb per minute of 650 feet or 200 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 16,400 feet or 5,000 meters. The plane has a maximum cruise speed of 154 knots, with an average hourly fuel burn of 5 gallons, or 19 liters, at 60% power. While in flight, the pilot only has to deal with a single lever to set the power while the fuel flow is displayed in real time and maintained with digital precision. Want to set 60% power? Push the throttle lever forward until the engine load meter says, 60%. That's it. There is no hard to interpret performance chart, no leaning, no guessing. The pilot will have accurate fuel consumption and range information and the ability to fly the airplane by the book with confidence. It is also important to remember that this engine is both liquid cooled and turbocharged. Pilots are required to ensure that the engine coolant has warmed to the green before the ECU test is conducted and takeoff is attempted. This will be an issue on cold days when there is a big gap between flights, but the heat is otherwise maintained efficiently. During a busy training day, it is unlikely that much waiting time will be required. The fact that it is turbocharged is not immediately evident to the pilot, as there is no manifold pressure gauge or other indication of the presence of a turbocharger. The engine can maintain the requested power to a much higher altitude, indicated by the load indicator. In a non-turbocharged or normally aspirated engine, the power would start to decline somewhere in the 6,000 to 7,000 foot range and be indicated by a loss of manifold pressure. And finally, the aircraft has a maximum range of 935 nautical miles, which is 1,075 or 1,730 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 2,132 feet or 650 meters. Now let's talk about the price and cost. The base purchase price for a new Diamond DA40NG is $500,000 before options, but you should be able to find a used Diamond DA40NG for about $300,000 to $500,000, while the annual fixed cost is estimated at $20,000 to $30,000. The average hourly operating cost is estimated at $100 to $200. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.